Hello, you little YouTubers. Here's your friend, Velma Hagar. The Velma Hagar. I think I'm probably the only Velma Hagar. And I know I'm the only Velma Gladys Hagar because who would name their cute little baby girl Velma Gladys, I ask you. One time I said that to my mother. In fact, my mother's name was Gladys, as many of you know. And I said to her one day, why would you name a cute little baby girl Velma Gladys? And she said, because I wanted you to be named after me. <laughs> God bless her. And here I am. I'm carrying that name. And you know, my son named his daughter Gracie Gladys. And you know, when I heard that, I thought, you know, it isn't that bad. And at least I don't share it with anybody. It's my own name. If you Google Velma Gladys Hagar, I am sure, I haven't done it, but I am sure I'm the only one that will come up anywhere in this country. All right, there's that. That's said. And here's looking at you, kid. I don't even have my coffee today. I'm going, I'm actually officiating at a, at a funeral. You know, as most of you know, I am uh, an ordained minister, Christian ordained minister, and I'm also the chaplain for the Republican women in Coachella Valley. So I do funerals. I'd rather do weddings, but for some reason I get called for the funerals. And it's okay because you know what? To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And you know what? It's really an honor to be able to see people off in that way and to encourage their loved ones. So I'm off to do that today. But with that said, I wanted to share, I had something that I really wanted to do. Wait a minute, what was it? I know, celebrate the small victories. You know, just because you haven't made it to where you're planning on going, you have gotten along the way. There are steps that you have to take, but you have made small victories along the way. Stop and celebrate those. It's important. Because remember that when you're grateful, the grateful people will always have enough. So be grateful. Be grateful for the small things that come into your life. That You know, like I heard, I heard one of my friends doing a, a, a video today, Scott Ford, and he said, I loved what he said. You know how sometimes you feel like there's just no way out? Like, you know what? You, there's no, there's, you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And you're, you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do now? There's no way out. But I want you to stop right now and look back on your life and see how many times you thought like that. And yet, there was always a way. You got out, didn't you? You got out of it. So remember that. Don't get discouraged. Keep moving forward. Don't quit. And stop and celebrate your little victories along the way. That is so important that you do that, okay? Now, I want to talk to you about when you lose a loved one. This is kind of a scattered little video because I had a couple little things I wanted to share. And I'm going to share this today with my group I'm going to do the funeral for. Remember George Bailey? Remember George Bailey in It's a Beautiful Life? Remember how the angel stopped and showed him what that town that he lived in would be like if he wouldn't have ever been born? And remember how everything was different? Well, I'm going to tell you, each one of us hold that kind of importance in our life. If we weren't here, what would it be like for everybody else? And, and, and think of that when you lose a loved one, too. You know, what did they bring into your life that was special? And remember, you have to keep them in the rearview mirror now. You can't keep them in, the, in your windshield. You've got to live right now. And you don't know you don't forget. You don't forget them, but you do put them in your rearview mirror because it's important that you don't focus on them. They're gone. They're better off than you are. To be absent from the bodies, to be present with the Lord. They're with the Lord. And learn what you learned. Remember what you learned and release them. Let them go. Every one of us are going to have to deal with death of a loved one. Every one of us. I've already dealt with my mother, my wonderful husband, my dad, uh, my brother. You know, I've already dealt with and many, many friends. We have all are going to have to deal with the loss of a loved one. And the one thing I want to tell you is grief is normal. 
the word says there is a time to grieve. It's normal. But never let guilt come in. You know, every one of us, you know, when if, you, if you've been close to anybody, you've done things you wish you wouldn't have done with that person. Every one of us. I don't care how much you love that person. You did or said something that you shouldn't have said or did. Do not let the enemy sit on your shoulder and tell you about that when they die. Because that kind of grief is the worst kind of grief there is. Never let that in, okay? That's the one thing I want to share with you. And then remember that their memory is precious, but get on with life. Live in the now, right now, because this is what really counts right now. All right? How's that? Now, did you get all that? I had three things I talked about, and I talked about them in five minutes. <laughs> That's what you call a scattered mind. My mind is like a tumbleweed. <laughs> it comes rolling through. You never know what it might say next. I have no plan. I shoot from the hip. And that was, and you talk about an assault rifle. <laughs> talk about the tongue. I said the other day, I might be getting old, but my tongue is in full bloom. <laughs> My tongue is at its prime, <laughs> and I'm not so good. sure it's good sometimes. All right, you guys, buy my books, Hidden Treasures in Secret Places, Hidden Treasures in Dark Places on Amazon. Hit the little subscribe button. Send this to a friend, and especially someone that may have lost a loved one. I think there's some important little messages right here, don't you? Okay, you guys, until next time, this is your friend Valma Hagar bidding you a blessed day and reminding you to celebrate as you go along. Keep your mind on the present and never let guilt, grief eat you up. All right? Until next time. Bye.